Hey everyone, my name is G. And my name is Chris. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking this out. We really hope you do. You guys enjoy this. Uh, this is our first try at a podcast. Uh, this is our pilot episode, actually. So we did this uh, a while back, and we kind of liked what we heard, and we showed it to some people. Yeah, we got a lot of positive feedback from our family and friends, and they said it was kind of entertaining, and we were kind of funny. So we're like, yeah, might as well use this one, too. So we're going to put this on publish. Let us know what you think. Um, we hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, thanks, guys. Is this still quiet on your thing? I guess I don't have to really hear myself. Yeah, it sounds all right. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of <laughs> so get everything situated. All right, well, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. This is really happening. The fade out worked really well in that one. Yeah. We'll, we'll <laughs> fix it in post. <laughs> well, hey. Hey, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this chaotic thing that we call a podcast this is going to be the first episode of topics in a hat <laughs> so we're pretty excited about this i guess i don't know if you want to call it that but this will be a good time yeah g you want to run them down on what's going on so the very basic aspect of this and i can't see you there you go that's better uh the very basic aspect of this is pretty much we got 50 subjects in my my basketball hat and we're going to pick three subjects for this show uh, and we'll talk about those subjects uh, for 10 minutes. Um, 10 minutes strictly. Once the timer goes off, we're moving on. Yes, but we're not going to pick the, we're not going to pick the subjects until we are done with the first subject. So there'll be three subjects that are kind of going from there and then uh, we'll see where that goes. But yeah, this is just our, our first try at this. The, the pilot per se. Is that what they call it? Is it, is it the same thing for, for podcasts? You look at me like I'm some sort of entertainer. This is your idea, so you should definitely know more about it. This is only this. half my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, you know what? We'll just get we'll just get straight to it. All yeah. right. You want to do the honors while I get the timer ready? Oh, you're getting the timer ready. Okay, cool. So these uh, all these subjects are kind of uh, everywhere and everywhere, anywhere. Um, it's just kind of random thoughts, random ideas, and random suggestions. So... Uh, don't expect much from this besides maybe a few laughs. Hopefully. Or three. All right. Am I picking? Yeah, you go for it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. The right. ASMR. This is so stupid. I can see him. Okay. There you go. All right. First subject. The inaugural subject. This is exciting. All right. Tacos versus burritos. Ooh, tacos versus burritos. All right. So pretty much... Uh, I guess it's just deciding which one's better, right? Burritos. You like burritos? 100%, man. So my main thing with burritos, uh, well, I guess... You, you had a band called Burrito Soup, so I figured you were going to go for that. Okay, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but my main uh, proponent for burritos being better is the fact that you can easily smother a burrito in some extra sauce. And on tacos, it's like just a little little oh, sauce man, on the in between. Smothered burritos are the worst. It's all about portability. I, I mean, I like both. Don't get me wrong. I'm Being Mexican, you, by law, you have to. That's fair. Um, but I would definitely go with tacos just because I feel like you can have a different variety and get full off of having different types of varieties out of tacos. But with a burrito, you just it's one thing and that's it. Well, I guess it really depends like what you count as a burrito, like anything inside of a tortilla. No, because uh, I think that's the pretty standard burrito is just anything in a tortilla counts. Well, as it depends a on what tortilla it is. If it's in a flour tortilla, it's automatically considered a burrito for me. It can't that's... be can't be so. Corn. So what's the difference to you? between a burrito and a wrap <laughs> wraps are not burritos that's obviously but they're both wrapped in tortillas yeah but they're not real tortillas that's literally like like an avocado avocado base something i don't know i don't wraps are kind of weird don't call them wraps please don't call them wraps mexican wraps <laughs> no they're just burritos but i would say like definitely burritos are much better than tacos no uh, I mean, the thing, the thing at the end of the day is it comes down to, like, again, like, for me, I can have, like, one de asada, one del pastor, and one de barbacoa, and be like, oh, I can actually taste these all differently. It's like a journey. With a burrito, it's literally just, like, here. The, you can only choose, like, one type of thing or make it as big or little as you want. But if you get full, it's not going to be the you, same when you, you have You might be again. swaying me on the taco burrito argument because that's a solid thing. When I go get tacos, I never have, like, a carne asada taco. And like that's it. That's like the only flavor I have. Yeah, I have the nice spread of flavors. Well, you might be changing my mind. On well, this the whole biggest thing today. about well, the biggest thing about it too is like if you go to a spot and you're like, man, that taco was terrible. You can redeem yourself with the next taco. As compared to a burrito, when if it's a terrible burrito, 
you're getting that through like all of it. Yeah, it's you get like even, halfway done. You're like, mm. it's not even like I don't know. I mean, I love burritos, but I also hate that like. I don't know. When I was living in Austin, there was a I had a huge debate with people because over there they call they call breakfast tacos. Like they call breakfast tacos, right? But they use flour tortillas, and I hated that because I'm just like that's not a that's not a taco. That's a burrito. It wasn't wrapped though. That's a problem. But they're just they're just two distinctive things for me. Because I mean, like I feel like a, a flour tortilla has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, I can see that. That is just not. I mean, that's where the kind of the burrito kind of comes from as well. So I don't know. It's kind of stupid. So and and people did, were so mad at me. And they, they didn't still have be. breakfast burritos. They had breakfast tacos. Yeah. And they were tacos. Like, they were small, like, flour, like, tacos. But, I mean, again, tacos can only be made with, with corn tortillas. I See, and that's one thing that I will 100% agree with you, unless it's fish. If it's a fish taco, then I'm cool with a flour oh, tortilla. Oh, no, dude, no. You're, you're not eating the right fish. You got to go, like, get some mariscos, like, in, like, the ocean. I don't know what that word <laughs> means. It's It's seafood in Spanish. Oh, I, th- I was saying the ocean. What's the ocean? Oh, have you never been? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to raise my chair. <laughs> You're good. We're going to have all this extra background noise because we're just... This is had, our first <laughs> Yeah, this is our first one, and everything is incredibly, like, makeshift together to this make is this definitely, work. Yeah, it's definitely one of those, uh, we kind of just plan a day and then just said, screw it, let's do it. Um so yeah, that's that's my argument for tacos versus burritos. How are we gonna make this ten minutes, G? I don't think we can. So we might we might make it just five, and then double the topics. Maybe maybe just on a, an, an extra one. Yeah yeah. All right. So so we have a minute left. If we're going five minutes on that. So. <laughs> Where's your favorite taco spot? Uh, it's a taco truck that I can't pronounce the name of. Is it El Tacorriendo? Uh, that sounds correct. Off yes. Of, uh, uh, 8th and 13th? Yep. Dude, that's, that's the my one. spot. That's the one. There's another one off of like, it's like headed towards JBS, formerly known as Conagra, formerly known as Montfort. Formerly those... known as Swift was in there at some point. Oh, it? yeah. I forgot about Swift. It was, uh, so it was Montfort, then Conagra, then Swift, and then JBS. The I, don't, took it over. I don't know why you know the history of that gr- meat packing plant. I grew up here and I had a lot of family members work there, so. That makes it's, sense. It's, that lines up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, breakfast burrito spot. Ooh, Be- no, wait. Best burrito spot. Not even breakfast. Best burrito spot? Yeah. Mm. Oh, you got 15 seconds. Oh, I know. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. uh, probably Miguel Giro. I like yeah, that Yeah, I like Miguel. Uh, the only problem with that is uh, no disrespect or shade, but the burrito bros kind of blew up that spot. They really really that was yeah. I'm so glad time's up. <laughs> All, All right. right so that, was, that, was, that wasn't too bad. So at least now we know most subjects will either be five or some might be 10. I don't know. Let's yeah. See. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. And then we should make a, a clause if we need extra time and a heated debate that could be tacked on at the end, but we'll have to come back to it. <laughs> and then forget the whole train of thought. Yeah. Forget the whole train of thought. All right. We'll I just, don't know. We'll figure it out. We're still, uh, we're still kind of going. All right. Let's do the second one. Is this the first one? Oh, yeah. All yeah right. Close your eyes. Don't look at it. <laughs> yes. The second topic is going to be Bill Burr. You actually wrote Bill Burr on here, huh? Yeah. Oh, God. He's uh, kind of uh, starting a timer. He's kind of a uh, hot. You started too early. Hold on. You got to do it again. Hot spot in the news right now. Oh, there's no bing, bing, bing. I guess we can add that in post. Um, <laughs> Bill Burr, huh? You know, he's a. Uh, oh, it's back to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, we'll figure this out by the second one. So, for quick. those who don't know Bill Burr, he's a comedian. Um, as of this. Taping, he's a ginger. After, as of this recording, he had a, had an SNL stand up special, monologue. Monologue. He was he was a host of SNL, is what I meant to say. Um, and he got major backlash for his jokes. Now, he's always been that kind of like shock comedian, um, and it's it is it, I can understand where like sometimes he might have like crossed the line for specific people, but you know it's 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 a uh, he does it really well. I I don't know. The thing I like about him is that he does kind of like say some things that can come off as offensive, but he always backs him up with something that's like logically like oh yeah that makes sense right yeah he's definitely a a contrarian comedian kind of like tries to ride that line of is this messed up or is this funny and i think there's a there's a great quote that i always like talking about comedians uh it's from i think patrice o'neill said it it's like you're not a true comedian unless 50 percent of the audience is laughing and the other 50 percent is absolutely terrified that's fair i mean I was about to say Bill Cosby didn't do that, but he he was yeah. too busy doing other things. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like Bill Burr, and I I don't I don't think I've watched his stand up as much, 
but he's definitely like the epitome of that like comedian who I think like definitely takes it like over like over the, where most comedians would. Mm-hmm. But again, I think he does it in, in a way that's more like it, I mean, it's also comedy, too. You have the things you, you, they say you, you can't take too serious about it. Yeah, you know and I, I mean? definitely think he wrote that line very well on that monologue. And I can kind of see where people are coming from being offended by it, but I don't think they looked at the overarching message of that whole monologue. Well, it's so easy to do that nowadays. But it's also one of those things where that, that was probably his goal, is to get like definitely get backlash. Yeah. And that's usually him because he, he literally doesn't care. And like I just think it's great that he called out being canceled – in that monologue by specifically white women and now he's being canceled by specifically white women so that's that's some bonus points for bill burr on that one yeah i mean i don't know like i, I think that's kind of why sometimes i have a hard time watching him too because i'm just kind of like like what's your end what's your end goal at this point like are you are you trying to make comedy or are you just really getting off on the fact that like people hate you which is fine don't get me wrong but i think that a thing with bill burr is he just doesn't care it's kind of like he's uncancelable he's also one of those guys that like is like one of those like true comedians that has been around forever like if george carlin was still around like he'd be in so much trouble yeah Uh, and just because he would you know he would speak he would speak comedy like in in his honest like opinion Mm -hmm. which kind of i think is that's kind of where like the, the barrier comes when you ask that question of like when does comedy become a joke to the point that it's not you know what i mean yeah. like i know there's like some comedians out there and i've seen it like uh, like when some guys like oh these are character characters that, that we do for the sake of comedy and it's like well you're using the n-word and this guy's like like you're you're playing like a racist Klu- like a dumb klu klux klan member but you're still using the n-word it's like at, at what point is that comedy or to the point you know what i mean like yeah like they try to they try to disguise it as like oh we're making fun of this uh, like negative connotation, but they're still kind of promoting it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's it, I guess like when like uh, when white people do blackface ironically, I think that's kind of the same like line of thinking. It's like, oh, we're not doing blackface; we're making fun of blackface. Oh man, yeah. And that's I guess it's and that's that's the, that's the beauty of comedy. I think is if if you can do it right, and I think Bill Burr tiptoes that really well. He does, yeah. Where it's like you look at like it's always sunny when they did like the Die Hard uh, episode. I haven't seen that You've one. You've not seen that one? So yeah, they actually do blackface on that. Like, because uh, it's like a sequel to, like, the, or, no, Lethal Weapon. Sorry. Not, not oh, Die Hard. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not Die Hard. I get confused those so much for some reason. I have never watched either or. They're so kind of that. the same movie in my mind until I watch it. And then I'm like, oh, Die Hard is so much better. That's fair. Well, yeah. But, like, Lethal Weapon, like, they, like he does, they do blackface, for, like, for the sake of, like, making fun of that. And yeah, yeah. it's still uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. But it's like Tropic Thunder is the same way for me. Like, I thought Robert Downey Jr. doing that was 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 a, was just hilarious for one, but two, like he got a lot of backlash for it, especially recently. But it's also like, yeah, that definitely came back. Uh, I guess the backlash came back, and I think I saw a podcast with Jamie Fox and Joe Rogan. Oh yeah, and Jamie Fox was kind of talking about it. He's like, yeah, man, this happened a long time ago, and like he talked about it, and a lot of people in like the black community were like, it's it made sense for them why he was doing it to kind of call attention yeah. maybe like how it's also, ignorant are people it's also a very different generation man comedy has changed a lot and i think it's hard it's hard for people to adapt to it so i guess props to bill burr for oh and that's time canceled. sir nice all right well two down two more to go all right it's your turn to pick uh here's a message from our sponsor that's, and we're back <laughs> that's very presumptuous of you that we're getting sponsors no no already. i was just uh, it was more of a joke because we're not going to edit that part it's literally going to go <laughs> yeah and it, we're back i forgot to turn off my ringer on my phone it's copyright bro yeah but ring all right man this is this pilot episode is going to be like so raw and not like it's going to be edited and stuff like that but it's not going to be edited well no we still don't know what we're doing so yeah all right next subject this is definitely a chris one because it's nice the, and fat they cut all right. Pizza. <laughs> okay. All right. Pizza All right, it is. Pizza it is. So we just got done eating pizza, actually. Yeah, that was um, our kind of pregame that we were doing. Favorite spots for pizza and Greeley? I mean, like. Or ever, I guess. I mean, ever? Anywhere. Oh, man. Been to a lot of places. There's definitely a spot. I don't even remember what it was called because I was like 10. And it's stuck in my mind since then. Ten years old and you have pizza stuck in your mind. Yeah. So uh, I was in Chicago. Oh, okay. And well, this – well, this, this is – This is already not valid. Hold on. This is the ironic part. That's not pizza. This was the ironic part. You didn't even let me finish. Okay. See, G is so mean to me all the time. <laughs> you quit. <laughs> you fired me, bro. 
No, so it was a New York style pizza spot in Chicago. And it was good. And it was fantastic. And we literally were walking for hours because we had to ride the bus because we were visiting Chicago with no money for some reason. And we were walking back to our hotel and we were walking for hours. And then we just popped in. It was probably like 20 minutes. You're just like a kid who thinks it's like hours. That's that's a valid, (laughs) valid criticism. I will not disagree with that. But then we just like we're like I was just complaining the whole time like, yeah, I'm hungry, man. And they're like, fine, we'll feed you, I guess. And then, like, we literally turned a corner. There's a little pizza shop, like, right there. Popped in, ate it. And I'm maybe I was hungry, but that was some of the best New York style pizza I've ever had. Would you ever happen to be in Chicago? Would you ever remember where it's at? Oh, never. <laughs> Even because so we went to Chicago probably three or four times in my younger life because my brother used to do a lot of weightlifting competitions in yeah. Chicago. And we tried to find it the next trip that we went, and we could not remember where, we, where it was at because it was just happenstance. It was like the stars aligned perfectly for us to find that spot in Chicago. Gross. That's the, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Wow, dude. <laughs> How about your favorite go-to spot that I can shit all over for you? <laughs> I don't think I have one. I, I think we had this discussion. You actually brought it up when you're talking about how pizza's just pizza. Yeah, and that's And it's always just true. like, meh. Yeah. I will say probably like the one go-to spot that I have is in uh, um, in Centennial. In Wyoming, okay. For Star oh range. yes, dude. That that like it's okay. not it's not even that it's good pizza. It's just like a rewarding thing to do, like after snowboarding. Yeah, and it it kept, became like our little like. Oh yeah, because they had that they had that, hat, they had like that our, stupid our, game over there. Yeah, whatever, the, with the dice, the dice game. Yeah. yeah, legal gambling. But yeah, I don't Oops. know, man. Like I think uh, Jaeger Pizza used to be really good. Um, I don't I haven't ate it as often. But yeah, Jaeger was Pizza good. was really good. I think I just burned myself out on it because <laughs> it was always like the late night spot to go yeah, to. Yeah, and. One o'clock in the morning, getting heartburn at like three a.m. Yeah. yeah, we're getting older, man. Um, but I think I mean, <laughs> you're getting older. What's well, the problem about Greeley is that there's not like a like a like a like a staple French. I guess Roma. Never mind. Roma is probably pretty like. I'm more into their Carolis and their pizzas. Yeah, no, like, you're right. Their pizzas aren't bad, but I definitely if I go there and they're like, "Would you rather have pizza or Caroli?" Hundred percent of the time, Caroli. That chicken bacon ranch one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that was weird, but uh. Nah, man, I don't know. Pizza's, pizza doesn't always sound good, but it's, like, the most convenient thing to get. Yeah, and, like, going back on kind of what you said that I said. That she said. That she said. That, that we said. That we said. Yeah. Um, pizza's kind of pizza. Like, I've had bad pizza, but I've never had pizza where I'm like, I can't eat this. I've always had pizza where I was like, oh, this isn't good, but I ate the entire slice. So my buddy Brandon, um, he was a guy who used to own the Jaeger pizza, right? And he sold it. Um, but what's funny about it is that he, we went to uh, Urban Bricks because they have like a pizza spot over there too. It's pretty good. Um, and they were talking. He was telling me he's like, you know, the best way to find out if a pizza place is actually good, he's like, just get a cheese pizza. Yeah, hundred percent, dude. I agree. And I, I mean, I've never done that, but that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. So usually when I hit a pizza spot, I hit it twice. I go the first time and get like the just cheese pizza, and if I like it, then I go for like, hey, what's your best selling pizza? You know what I miss? Cece's Pizza. Really? You miss CeCe's? I love CeCe's. I mean, I also used to go, like, in high school, so I don't know, like, if I would like it now, but... Yeah, I definitely was not a fan of CeCe's Pizza growing up. I, I Yeah, for me, it was more so, like, my my, uh, my brother-in-law used to take us, like, when I was younger. Yeah. And his name, ironically, is CeCe. So but CeCe it, took you to CeCe's? I'm not sure if it was, like, a narcissistic thing or if you just really enjoyed it, or both, I guess. It, yeah, it's probably both. both. Yeah. Like, if there's a place called Gigi's Pizza... You'd go there? I definitely wouldn't go there, because it's not spelled the same. In my head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just spelled two G's instead of so, G-I-G-I-A. So on that topic, I guess, what's your favorite toppings for pizza? I don't care. Um, I'm kind of on that same same path. Like, I mean, we got pizza today. I was like, pepperoni and cheese? Like, yeah, sure. Like, all right, cool. Yeah. Like, because after a point, it just tastes the same. Right. So. So. Less veggies are better, though. But basically, pineapples belong on pizza. Oh, and look at that. We're <laughs> almost. belongs on pizza. We're at it. We're all right. Anything time. belongs all on right. pizza. It's pizza. <laughs> all right. Next topic. Last topic. And now a word from our sponsors. And we're back. <laughs> Again. It's your. It's my pick? <laughs> yeah. Last one. Make it count. Best Pixar movie. Oh. This is. I'm actually pretty excited for this one. So are we looking at um, like Pixar movies as they were just Pixar or when under the umbrella of Disney when they bought Pixar as well? I mean, they bought Pixar pretty quickly, didn't they? 
I believe the first Toy Stories were just Pixar. No, I think the first. I think they they went under the wing really quickly. Did I, they? They bought them. They bought them. Uh, after like that short with the lamp and the ball. I think that's when they actually ended up buying them. So Disney, it, Disney picks. Disney has been there since Toy Story, I believe. Really? I believe. I so. did not know uh, Disney was a conglomerate before they were. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, yeah, they were. They were doing this in the '90s like so hard. So I guess the only. I reason... mean, they bought ABC around that time, and that's why the Dana Carvey show didn't work out. Oh yeah, Dana Carvey show was amazing. That was a good show. That dude was so hilarious. But uh, the only thing I'm going to struggle with this is because I legitimately can't remember what's DreamWorks and what's Pixar. That's fair. Uh, name it, and I'll tell you. Uh, Bugs Life. Bugs Life is uh, Disney or Pixar. Sorry. Um. So then, if it's Bugs Life, then yeah, I would definitely say that's up there for me. Um. But as of recently, dude, gotta love me some Coco. Coco is definitely, and that that for me, obviously, it's it's more so because of my culture. Like I've never, it's never, I never have ever felt that representation so well. Oh, and uh, for the people listening, he's Mexican. <laughs> yes, for for those who don't know, I'm 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 from Mexico. Well, my family's from Mexico. Anyways, um. Yeah, I love that movie. Which is, I didn't want to say that right away. So, we'll, I mean, that's definitely like a biasing because it, it means it's more personal than it is like amusement. Mm-hmm. Um, I gotta say, Up, man, Up is probably my favorite Disney. See, Pixar I have movie. not seen Up. What, dude? Just watch like the first like well, three minutes. Well, I'm saying I have not seen Up because people tell me how sad it is, and I'm like, no, nah, I'd rather not. The first three minutes are the saddest part. Yeah, and that's the first three and minutes. And it's honestly better than Twilight. Like, the first three minutes is better than Twilight, for sure. Like, the first three minutes of Up is better than the entirety of Twilight. Yes. We're going to watch it after this, for sure. Twilight? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, I would say Up. Um, oh, what was the other one I was thinking of? Uh, the Good Dinosaur was pretty good. I haven't seen that one either. See, I'm not good at animated movies. I'm more of like a... You have a daughter. Yeah, I mean, what... Yeah, she, we watch real cinema. Okay. Well, you should make an excuse to watch animated cinema, so... Yeah, I just haven't really liked animated cinema too much, so I watch it sparingly. Well, I'm see, not a fan of like you know anime or cartoons or that kind of thing. Well, usually, I the, so I think the biggest thing about what what the, the evolution of, of uh, Pixar was that it changed from being more comedic to more like we want to make you cry. Okay. Right. So like you look at like the Monsters Inc. and like that like that movie was just all like they had a blooper reels. Remember that? Like Pixar had. Oh blooper yeah, reels. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like like even like like a Bug's Life was like funny like. Yeah, I like think Toy Bugs Story Life was, like, did funny. blooper reels as well at the end. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it ended with Monsters Inc. But that was like Wally. See, like Wally was super funny. Yeah, Wally but... was a really good movie. I actually like that. I enjoyed that movie quite a lot. It yeah, didn't have it an a... overarching message that how I'm um, like I was gonna say Americans, but humans are just lazy slobs, and I thought that was kind of funny. I mean, it was it was real, man. Yeah. I mean, and that's and that's the thing that I think that movie kind of transcended them into. Uh, talking more about those issues so you look at like brave and that's more of like you know women stepping up to the plate mm-hmm. um you you see uh toy story three it's just like about like i guess growing that's more like growing up but like wally is definitely one of those like like environmentally driven yeah like definitely um, um kind of like the idea had like transcended just the the cart or animation movie kind of yeah itself. which yeah. was kind of cool i mean like I, I i love that movie and i think i hope that it kind of helped structure something and i guess even like finding nemo was kind of the same way or finding dory was at least mm-hmm. but no i would definitely go with coco being my favorite for the sake of just like personally like of like the like just the, like what i felt watching that yeah yeah i think as a general audience i'd say uh up was a really good one that one was really sad. It is a really, really good movie, though. Like, yeah. it's funny. It's it's sad. So, yeah, I guess I'll have to watch Up, but definitely I would say Coco. Um, I mean, it's not as culturally culturally relevant for me as for you, but I definitely enough. Yeah, I definitely thought the uh, the music in Coco specifically was what took that movie to the next. Oh level. yeah, dude. Because yeah. I just usually uh, like Pixar Disney movies are too sing songy and it feels like I'm watching a musical rather than like a movie. Yeah. But the way they did the music in that movie made it just flow so naturally. And like, it made sense that they're singing a song at this point. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's yeah. And I think it, they did a really good job with, uh, with translating it from English to Spanish. I still watch it in Spanish just because I feel the emotion comes out better. But like when they sing, remember me in English, I still cry. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mama Coco. That movie was sad. <laughs> Remember me. Oh, and that's time on that one. All right. So that was the four subjects from a hat. Maybe we should call it that. 
Um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> uh, leave your your ideas in the comments that we can talk about next time. And or your text uh, messages. Yeah, when we send this to you personally and, and be just... like, hey, does this suck or not? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna suck. Uh, maybe we'll do five topics, really depending on uh, like the timing and how long, how short this ends up being. Yeah, but I thought ten minutes was gonna be way shorter. I know ten minutes was a an idea, and it turned out to be kind of difficult. We should name it Seven Minutes in Heaven and make it for seven. But then we have to hold hands and kiss. Well, in the, in the dark. <laughs> <laughs>